So we have a parallelogram. Uh, well, here it is, A, B, C, D. That's my parallelogram. And then we've got some lines drawn across it. Across it. Okay, we've got BFE, which is a straight line, and EDC, which is a straight line. And here are some angles. So we're dealing with angles, we're dealing with parallel lines, and before we do the question, let's uh, just have a look at the rules we could use. We have corresponding angles, okay, which make this sort of shape here, but don't you dare call them F angles anymore, and corresponding angles are equal. And then we have alternate angles, that's those two. They're also equal. They make this shape, but they're not Z angles. They are alternate angles. And then we have two angles which add up to 180. Those are C angles, sorry, co-interior angles, or if you want to, allied angles. It doesn't really matter. And we're asked to find, or rather show, the size of this angle is 70 degrees. Okay, that's A, B, F. Well, quite a good way to do these questions is just to do a bit of angle chasing and see what happens. Well, the first thing that I see is that this 35 is corresponding to this angle here. Look, there's that shape, which looks a bit like an up down, upside down F. Okay, uh, so that's one good angle to find. Uh, we could find this angle. And in fact, we can find this angle as well because, of course, that is allied to the 75. Look, there's the C that we're not allowed to talk about. OK, and that, of course, would give us A, B, F. So let's do that, see if we can recreate that working. So first of all, let's say that F, B, C, that's this angle here, is equal to E, F, D, which is... 35 degrees. Okay, so that one is 35, and that's because they are corresponding angles. Please don't write uh, F angles, you won't get the mark. So they are corresponding angles. Now, what was the next thing we did? Well, we're trying to find this angle, so finding that one, ABC, would be a very good idea. So we can say that ABC is 180 minus. Uh, BCD or DCB as they've called it. Okay, uh, so that's 180 minus 75, which is 105 degrees. So we now know that, uh, let's put it in a different color, this angle here is 105 degrees. Now we need a reason for that, and the reason we said for that was that they are, well, I'm going to call them allied angles because, of course, that's shorter to write. Okay, and they add up to 180. In other words, one is 180 minus the other, which is what I've said here. And now, without reason really having to be given, I can say that the angle ABF is the angle uh, ABC minus the angle FBC, and we've got both of those, so that is 105 minus 35, which is, of course, 70 degrees. And just by following our nose, we're done.